Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 37. I can't believe how quick these nine months have gone. Um, obviously there's one more week of predictions after and then there will be stuff coming on my channel throughout the summer as well. Um, so, you know, make sure you're ready for that as well. Uh, don't forget about England and the Nations League. Then you've got the transfers coming into the Premier League, including the promotion clubs. Uh, I'd like to say welcome to Sheffield United and welcome Norwich to the Premier League. And yet we've got to wait for the playoffs. If you'd like to see me do a prediction on the playoffs, please put it down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with, and I know you can tell it behind me already, um, is Everton versus Burnley. Both teams are safe. Um, Burnley really did have an upset in weekend. Um, you know, a goal given to Man City by goal line technology, uh, 29 something millimetres, I believe it was over the line. Um, you know, it keeps the title race alive, it keeps the league exciting as well, um, especially in that top. Uh, you know, you've got that. With Liverpool, and then you got the top four, uh, third or fourth spot between the two clubs. Um, Everton, on the other hand, ain't having a bad season after all. Um, you know, I think they could do a lot more next year. Um, I'm expecting them to have a really good transfer window. Um, so, you know, they really have got up it, I really do think, for next season. But as this game goes, I'm going to call it a draw, and I'm going to call it a one-all draw for that one. The next one is Bournemouth versus Spurs. Tottenham losing their first game at their new ground um, this week had just gone, and obviously exceeding their first goal at their new ground as well. Uh, well done West Ham for doing that. Um, you know, you pushed them aside. I thought West Ham were a better team on the day, to be all honest. Um, you know, a lot of teams are really taking their foot off the gas for this uh, top four uh, spaces, third and full spot. And it looks like a lot of teams don't want it. Um, so, but anyway, I'll get back to that in just a bit. Um, Bournemouth, on the other hand, ain't having a bad season either. Drawing Southampton 3 all. This weekend just gone. Um, you know, a really good six goal thriller. Um, but with this one, I'm going to have to give it to Tottenham. And I'm going to call it a 2 1 scoreline for that one. Um, the next one is West Ham versus Southampton. Um, you know, West Ham, as I've said, beat Spurs this weekend. Southampton drawing with Bournemouth, as I've already mentioned. Uh, both uh, Southampton are safe now, mathematically as well. Um, but yeah, again, I'm looking, for, I'm looking for Southampton to have a big season next season as well. Um, but we have to wait and see, obviously see what, what business they do in the window. Um, West Ham po probably want to go out on the high considering I think it's their last away game. Um, you know, there's only one more game to go and unless you have two home games back to back which is very rare this stage of the season. You know, West Ham go want to go out on the high as I've just said, especially at home um, and especially uh, after last season. Um, I'm going to give this one to the Hammers. I'm going to call this one a 3-1 scoreline. Um, as I've said, I expect them to go on the high. I expect the players to want to go on the high as well. So, that's why I'm going for that scoreline. Uh, the next one is Wolves versus Fulham. Now, where can I begin with Fulham? Um... Nothing much to sound except they are in last seven spot competition. 
Uh, I've had a phenomenal season. I've said that once or twice already in the recent weeks. So I don't want to draw on that. I want to concentrate on Fulham just before I say this result. Fulham winning three games in a row. Um, this weekend they beat in Cardiff. Um, I will get to that more because obviously their Premier League game um, with Crystal Palace and that is just literally coming up next so I'll talk about that more in a minute. But can Scott Parker do the job in keeping Fulham in the Championship and then pushing for promotion again? Um, I think I've got some great players. I think some of their talent is don't deserve to be in the Championship. Um, I think clubs, um, Norwich, Sheffield United, Brighton, Southampton should be looking at some of their key players. Um, I rate Ryan Sessignol, um, Babel, I think he had a great goal. Um, Mitch Fitch, I think he, he should be in the Prem. I know he had a down season, but with, with football it's a team game, not one player game. Um, I know some players struggle to fit in um, with certain clubs. For example, Fal uh, Falcao went to United, couldn't do nothing. Went to Chelsea, couldn't do nothing. Went back home and he scored for fun again. Um, but I think Mitrovic has got the game and so I do believe a few other players for Fulham as well. Um, but as far well as the result goes, I think the Fulham unbeaten one is going to come to an end here. And I'm going to go for a 2 1 scoreline for that one. The next one, and I've just said it, and I'll say it again, is Cardiff versus Crystal Palace. Now, where do I go with this one? If Cardiff lose or draw, they're more likely to be down. The only way they can't be down um, is if they beat Palace. But then they got a massive goal difference to make up over Brighton. Um, you know, everyone's saying they think Cardiff's down. I ain't going to say it's over because it's not. Um, Cardiff have got an outshot, but I do have to go beat Man United at Old Trafford next week as well. Uh, I think it's like 15 goals they got to make up and not lose the game. You know, it's going to be one of them games, I think. Um, and obviously Crystal Palace are Brighton's rivals, so there's also that hanging in the balance as well. Um, as far as the game goes, I'm going to call this a Crystal Palace win, because they're going to want to make up spaces for West Ham for that more money period. Um, for you that don't know, the higher you finish up in the Premier League, the more money your club gets. So Palace are going to want to win this one. For that, um, I know their fans probably won't be too happy, but you know it's the money that the players and management management staff are thinking of got there in the end. Um, so I'm gonna call this one a Palace win, and I'm gonna give them a three 0 scoreline for that one. I know Cardiff be strong at home, but just think they might start giving in for this game as well. Um, the next one is Newcastle versus Liverpool. Liverpool need to win this to keep the pressure on City. Um, where do you go with this title race is so brilliant on a natural point of view. I just wish more teams were up for the competition, um, which obviously has turned out not to be. Um, but Newcastle are still in protest of getting their chairman out as far as I know. Um, Newcastle drew with Brighton this weekend, just gone. Um, you know, Brighton are now four points clear of the drop, or four points clear of Cardiff, um, thanks to a past on Grove's goal. Um, and, you know, Newcastle probably could have done a lot better. Um, as I've just said about my bit for Liverpool, so with this one, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win, and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. The next one is Chelsea versus Watford. Um, 
Where do you start with Chelsea? Drawing with United this weekend just gone. Um, you know, I needed to win that to confirm top four and nearly top four. Uh, I think only one or two clubs could be confirmed to reach Chelsea. But that draw has put it back in the balance again for all clubs. Um, but we're going up against a very good Watford side. Watford did lose to Wolves this weekend. Um, you know, I don't... With Wolves, it's more expected. Watford ain't got any more to do. Uh, to fight for, as far as I believe. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to call this one a draw. And I'm going to call this one a one-all scoreline. The only other way we've called this game, just in case you're thinking of it, is a Watford win. I'm not expecting Chelsea to win that game, purely because none of these teams seem to want to have the top four. The next one is Huddersfield versus Manchester United. Um, you know, Huddersfield been relegated, um, you know, weeks ago. Um, I, I think they will struggle to come back up, to be all honest with you. Um, even under their new manager, they really do need to strengthen to come back into the Prem. Um, so, that's going to be an interesting season for Huddersfield and new Huddersfield fans. Um, going up against Man United, who yet again need to get the three points to keep the pressure on the top four. Um, for argument's sakes, the only way Man United can do it is... They pick up six points and Chelsea drop between the last two games. Um, so I'm going to stick up for United for this one. I think that might be slightly obvious, but I'm going to give this one a 2-1 scoreline. I'm not expecting Huddersfield to roll over. My next one is Arsenal versus Brighton. Now this is a Sunday game, um, so is the United. Um, so... Where do we go with Arsenal? They lost three games in a row now. Um, I lost to Wolves. I lost to Palace. I lost to Leicester. Uh, the Crystal Palace one was at home. The Wolves one was away, and the Leicester one was away. They've had a bad run uh, over their past three games. Nine points dropped. Nine goals conceded. Um. By the time this game's played, we could know the relegation free, and obviously that'll be in next week's video if it is confirmed. Um, on the Brighton side, as I said, draw with Newcastle, four points clear of the drop now. The only real way Cardiff can get out is if um, they win both games mathematically. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I said it in this video, but Cardiff's last fixture is against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Um, but with. See, this is a tough one because I think Arsenal have rolled over as well. I think they've given up. I know it's going to upset some of your Arsenal fans, but this is my prediction. I believe Brighton are going to draw this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 two, two scoreline. The only other way we will call it possibly is a Brighton win. I can't see Arsenal picking up anything from now to the end of the season. Now my last one for this weekend is Manchester City versus Leicester. Um, Manchester City do have to win this to get the pressure on. Uh, Liverpool, but then Leicester do need to keep the pressure on. For, I think they're just outside Europe. Um, you know, to keep that good one of form going. Um, I ain't got beat around the bush. I've taken enough, enough of your time already. <laughs> Apologies again. Um, I'm going to call this a Manchester City win. And I'm going to call a 2-1 scoreline for that one. Um, guys, you know what to do, give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, ciao for now.